And then you get the, the online sleuths, right? The, the people who are too smart for any church. Oh, oh, oh uh, I know so much more than all these churches. The people that want to go back and correct the Bible, and they're these language experts on Hebrew and Greek, and they don't even know the alphabet, but, but they know how to use a, a dictionary. And they think that that makes them experts in translation because they go to a dictionary, oh, well, did you know that this word means this and, and, and also this? And you can look at the sixth definition of this word. And it also means this. I actually had somebody, when I was out sewing, like the, this person just pops in my head because it's the, the stereotypical of what I'm, what I'm describing here. And there's way more out there like him. And I was trying, I was going soul winning. I was trying to get the guy saved, right? He invites me into his house. So, okay. And, and I, I, I was probably still a little bit foolish because I spent more time with him than I should have. But, but so, you know, sometimes I try to, you know, if he, he was listening a little bit, I was trying to answer some of his questions and then get back to the gospel. Okay, here's what one of the things he said before I just had to shut him down and be like, I'm out of here. Because he already made a comment like, oh, I've been to all the churches here and, you know, he's, he's too smart for all of them. He's lifted up in pride. But he was trying to tell me that when the serpent beguiled Eve. He's like, well, what does that mean? I'm like, he tricked her. Because that's what the word beguile means. He's like, but if you go to the Hebrew, and if you look at the word beguile, it's actually, what, you know, whatever word it is. You know, it's, look at, look at this. Here, I'll show you. Let me see. I'm like, whatever, you know. And it's like the fourth definition and, and he's going into this as, as if it's like uh, um, seducing. So he sees, see, beguile could mean seduce. This word means seduce. And, he, and, and if you're familiar with it, he gets into this serpent seed doctrine that basically, what, what it is, it's, it's ridiculous. And I think someone on drugs came up with it because uh, it's bizarre. You can't just get that from reading the Bible. But when it says that the serpent beguiled Eve, what they think is that, is that Satan like laid in the carnal sense with Eve and, and made her pregnant. And she had another child that was just of the devil, right? So you have like Cain was of the devil. It says he was of that wicked one. We understand that when someone's a child of the devil, it's talking about they're, you know, spiritually, they're born, you know, like we're born again, children of God. Well, they're born children of the devil. It's a very simple concept to understand. Well, they think that there's people out there that are literal, like physical, seed of Satan. So we call it the serpent seed. And it's, it's, it's a ridiculous doctrine. But, you go, you know, but he had to go to go back and say, see, beguile means seduce. And so seduce, we all know me. And look, even the word seduce doesn't have to be in that type of a context of being something that has to do with the bedroom. You could seduce someone with anything. It's just another word for deceive or beguile. Like, it's a synonym. Okay, so what? But they want to be, feel so smart that they know this hidden knowledge. Ha oh, ha, I figured it out. They want to be the ones that have solved the puzzle. Wow, I've got, I've got this new information and this new doctrine and this new understanding that no one's known before. I, figure, I unlocked the Bible. I unlocked the real... Do you know what the Bible really means? You know what the word beguile really means? Like, watch out for these people. Don't get sucked into that nonsense.